Hey Sky Warrior fans, I'm here for my first mod review. Well, how am I? Well, first, first of all, I'm doing the modular force field systems mod. I'll be explaining the crafting recipes first. Then I would go through the sort. If there were weapons in this mod, I would go through weapons in that and how they work and tools. Then I'll get onto the good stuff like the force field in this one. Okay, so for recipes to make a corn, uh, corn, 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 corn driver, you're gonna need two iron repeaters and focus matrix. And focus matrix is somewhere up in one of those chests. Um, photon capitator. Those are very important. So you're gonna make want to make at least four of them to create a steady power source for your force field. So you need four iron, one repeater, four focus matrixes. To create an electro electromagnetic projector, you need one diamond, two iron, three focus matrix, and a redstone repeater. You're going to need a lot of iron and redstone repeaters eaters in this mod, so better try and get your hands on it as early as possible. Um, biometric identifier, you need four focus matrices, four iron, one blank card, and you can press J in this mod to hold the materials, but blank, but it's up there somewhere. Um, we've got the force, um, force mobilizer, we need six focus matrices, two translation modules, and one redstone repeater. I have, I'm not too sure what they do, but I think they do something pretty important to help this. Maybe it's some sort of stabilizer. Hmm. Got a frequency controller, three iron, two redstone repeaters, and two iron. That will create a remote controller. It's some sort of frequency sort of thing. So you can link two devices up. So let's say I only want just one of these, and I want to make a simple, just a big dome. Just a simple dome. I shift click and shift click. There you are. And then that's gonna link them up. But yeah, that's how that pretty much works. Uh link card. Link cards, I'm not sure what they do, but they obviously link something. But you're gonna need two blank cards, one redstone to create a link card. Identification cards. For the modules like anti-personnel ones where it calls to kill all players, you can make identification cards and right click them over on this, the biometric identifier to allow that person inside the dome. And for that you're going to need four redstone, one blank and one blank card. Next one, um, frequency card. Frequency cards are used for the biometric to identify the link with this, so it tells it to destroy, kill the player or not, or how the power flows, and that. And so far, I've just got this, the custom, the um, default frequency. You get, and if you want to build one of these, it's highly recommended you do it underground where no one will find it, or else they're gonna find it and destroy it so hmm. over here all right to make a blank card you're gonna need eight paper around an iron ingot to make a simple blank card which is used in some of the recipes over here um okay this is now starting to get into the modules all these sort of things um f to make a cube module to create a cube dome a cube um, protection force field you're gonna need nine of them and put them all over the crafting table to create a circle a sphere mode is to create a plus and I honestly like this sphere it looks kind of beast um, then we've got the tube module which is ding ding six focus matrixes I'm not sure I haven't actually ever tried the dome one but yeah um, the sphere, if you have three spheres, you can make a cylinder one, which is pretty much like a long pole in the air, which is useful for when you're making towers. To create a pyramid, you need to make 
stairs out of the focus matrixes and that will create some sort of pyramid so you can make an actual pyramid in a desert biome and make it like camoed into the background and there's a special module too you can use that will help with that um, I'm in this one. um and then we get all um four of them the pyramid the tube the sphere the cube and a focus matrix to make a custom a custom one is you decide how big it will be you can make literally uh, just one for as big as this as big as this little area or just around that you could even have a personal one of these under this one to keep this one boxed in so it's a good idea I don't know what that beat was okay um okay um array the array module which create patterns in Sorry, give me a second. Alright, um, Fortin, it repeats the field in specific, in a specific direction. Two diamonds, three focus matrix. Sorry, just, my phone was buzzing. Um, and, he, and to create a disintegration module, which will disintegrate blocks for you when you want to do stuff. So, let's say you're in the middle of a forest biome, you do that, it will disintegrate all the other ones all the tree blocks so you, and you'll be able to pick them up um to create a captivity module which means you can make more room in this so more power you're going to need uh two focus matrices and a redstone repeater to create a speed module which will speed up the process of the building the transfer all those sort of things you're going to need um, three redstone and six focus ma um, focus thingamajiggies. Blah, 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 blah. Focus matrix. He says. Alright, and to create a dome module, which is one I personally like for flat worlds, you just need one focus matrix. And that just. Oh, wait, no, two. Sorry. Two focus matrices, that makes a simple dome module. To create a fu field fusion module, which I think stabilizes it or something. Because there's no description about it. Two focus matrices, a shock module, which is coming up in one of these. Um, yeah. Alright, to create an approximation, which ignores metadata, which means it will do faster stabilization, which means faster force fields. You can get four, but yeah, pickaxes and around one focus matrix to make the approximation module. And for the camouflage, this is what I was talking about with the pyramid. You can use um, five wool of any color, but they must all be the same. White or black is preferable because I haven't actually tried the crafting recipe on it yet. But and for focus matrices, make it a camouflage module, which can be actually very useful in hiding things in a desert mine. All right, to create a rotation module which rotates the field around. So you have a triangle and the things, the one of the points coming out this way, you can turn it so it's pointing out that way. What you do can do is you can put it down like in a line and that will create four rotation modules. The field stabilization module, which makes it the field a lot harder to get through and it means a lot more secure but it's at a very expensive cost. Diamond axe, a diamond pickaxe, and a diamond shovel, two diamonds, four focus matrices to make a field stabilization module. Mm -hmm. That is expensive. Um, now, the scale module. For the scale module, you're gonna just need two focus matrices and it'll make two for you. And that's what you use to do the height. So if I had none of these here, the dome would literally just build around this and then it'll, it'll suck because you won't be able to turn it off. Um, silence module, because when you turn it on it makes an annoying noise, I've just got my sound off for that. You turn it on, you need four note blocks and a focus matrix uh, to make that so it keeps it quiet so it stays hidden for longer. Okay guys, I'm going to have to make a part two of this video because if I make any videos over 10 minutes on Minecraft, I'm screwed, okay? So Sky Recruits, see you in part two.